Finally, yes. My mother. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. I got that out of the way, guys. I, I feel good now. And if you guys want to text me and find me if I said your name wrong, you can do that as well. But I'm done. It is time. Yes, it is time for Jasenia's Top 10. And don't forget you can call us at 312-884-8205. Again, 312-884-8205. I also want to welcome Marcial uh, Garcia, who's chilling with us right now here on the Triple Threat Show. And uh, Marcial, he's an uh, intern for the show. He right now basically is doing a couple deals for us. And also, he's going to be my co-host for Around the Canvas. Marcial, it's good to have you on the show, man. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. And uh, also, Jasenia, are you ready, girl? I'm ready. Right. Aaron, say your hello. Hello. To the mic, hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. Yeah. Aaron, right now, you can see, you can see me and him on the YouTube cam right now. And uh, we're going to switch it over to Jasenia right now. She's on the YouTube cam. We're all in the studio. We're going to finish this half hour correctly. And then we're going to get to the final game. All right, Jasenia, are you ready for your time? I'm test? ready. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let her rip. All right, I got the top ten athletes turned criminals. Ooh. Yeah, you like that. You ready, Sean? Ready. <laughs> Number ten, Art Slichter. I don't know who that is. Art Slichter. Yeah, he was an Indiana, Indianapolis Colts quarterback, and he served, uh, he combined um, he served a combined ten years in prison in over forty four different institutions. Wow. Yeah. On and the same day that Jim Trussell gets fired, a Ohio <laughs> State quarterback. And most of them are for gambling. He's like an avid gambler, and now he lives with his mom in Indiana. So he gambled? <laughs> Jim Trussell gambled? Numero nueve, Chris Henry. He was a former Cincinnati Bengals. Yes. And he committed, yeah, he committed, he committed so many crimes between 2005 and 2007 between assault, DUI, probation violation, and none of these were in the strip club. Hmm. Rest in peace, Chris Henry. Man. Number eight, Marion Jones. I think she's the only woman on this list. And, of course, she won five medals at the 2000 Summer Olympics. And she was stripped of them because she was on steroids. And she admitted to that. Man, that was sad. That was so sad. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? She's with the WNBA now, isn't she? I, she's gonna be she's gonna be somewhere in July, right? She won a national championship with North Carolina. At the yeah. Time. Uh huh. So they yeah. yeah. So she's back. And number seven, Michael Vick for his uh, underground dog hobby. Yeah. And number six, uh, I never heard about this one. Uh, Michael Vick's younger brother, Marcus Vick, <laughs> has nothing to do with dogs. Has nothing to do with dogs. But he had a full Virginia Tech football scholarship. But he had reckless driving, possession of marijuana, and distribution to alcohol to minors. But he didn't hurt any dogs. Oh. Yeah, so he blew that. He just had a car full of 15-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> no dogs, just underage <laughs> women yeah. riding in a car with me. <laughs> Number five, Isaiah J.R. Ryder. He was a 1994 slam dunk contest champion, and he basically blew all that for kidnapping, assault, drug possession, and domestic violence. I remember targeting. that, yeah. He I sort of looks that. like uh, E-40. No, not wow. E-40. What's his name? Wow. Uh, the real weird one, CeeLo Green. You think so? Yeah, he's right here. Look. At the yeah, top. I'm <laughs> 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 he looks he like, like him. Tim Hardaway to me. Nah, I'm seeing CeeLo Green right here. Just He actually has a neck. CeeLo doesn't have a neck. Move right along. Number four, Mike Danton. He was uh, the former forward for the St. Louis Blues. Yeah, and he actually was charged for conspiracy to murder his agent. And the way that he got caught was because the hitman he hired turned out to be a police dispatcher. So, yeah, number three is Mike Tyson uh, for raping a beauty pageant in the early 90s. And after that, DUI, felony drug possession in Scottsdale, Arizona. Number two is O.J. Simpson. Number two. Oh, oh, number one. Good. Number that one. Good. Yeah, yeah. He's actually number two, and it was for stealing your, his own memorabilia. Oh. <laughs> but you know what? And then he's number two. For he's that. number two. He's Jordan number two. Love Rock Nevada. Yeah, wow. yeah. But you know what? He actually made um, he made a book called If I Did It. Oh, and in no. the book, in the book, he's like, well, if I did do it, this is what I would have done. <laughs> 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 number one. Oh. Number one. Oh. Steve Harvey went in on this guy. If you guys watch the original Kings of Comedy, Ray Carruth, 
Oh, oh, the guy yeah. around the Panthers? Yeah. yeah, and he actually looks like one of the Cone heads. I got a picture of him. Does, does he not look like one of the Cone Does he not look like, like one of the Cone heads? <laughs> yes, he does. Yes, he does. And of course, what he did was. That's bogus. He played that the drive by shooting of a woman who was eight months pregnant with his twins. One of the child, um, one of the children surviving, the other one passed away. And <laughs> the other girl, of course, passed away. Ray Cruz was number one. Oh, and then another thing that Steve Harvey was going in on him was. He's from the South, so he fled, but he went as far as like Nashville, Tennessee, and he was found hiding in his own trunk of his own car. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody's gonna see him there. <laughs> nobody's gonna look. <laughs> Embarrassing. <laughs> that was the top ten. All right, Jess. There you go. Thank you. Actually, on your camera, you like that, right? You like that. Thank you. <laughs> moving it around. <laughs> top ten uh, as uh, she gets her top ten. Let's go. Let's go with that show from here. From here. From now and then, <laughs> from here. I couldn't find the other one from here. And here and there. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. You're welcome. Cool, Thank man. you. Marcia, what's up, dog? Uh, she also forgot one uh, that happened just a couple years ago. Um, boxer from uh, Argentina, Edwin Valero, uh, stabbed his fiance to death, and then after he was taken to prison, he, he hung himself in jail cell. I remember so that. Would we, in, would, would we involve our tour baddie in this conversation, maybe? Well, he was not the one who committed the crime. Right. He, he was either they they claimed he committed suicide, but they were saying that it could have been his wife. Yeah. Um, that happened out in Brazil. What about Chris Benoit? I was going to say that. Chris Benoit. Wow, Aaron, your thoughts on that? Honestly, uh, Chris Benoit. That that whole scene was pretty ugly. I mean, uh, Eddie Guerrero, he died of his own, but with Chris Benoit, that was probably what I would have to say one of the most gruesome sports yeah. suicides in recent memory at least. Yeah. I don't think there's been any others. That reminds me of the Amityville horror. <laughs> the way he did it, doesn't it? it every time I, I think about Chris Benoit, I think about that, the Amityville horror. Because the way he did it. Yeah. I, I'm not I'm a big follower of wrestling, but when I heard about it, yeah. That's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. Number 312-884-8205. <laughs>